hour at LA City Hall, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti will officially unveil this app. It's a new app that gives you a heads up right before you feel a significant earthquake. This is a big deal. It's been some time coming. It's called Shake Alert LA. Joining us now to talk to us about that and more is the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, who's at City Hall. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. So how does this app work? Good morning and a happy 2019. Happy New Year. Thank you. So how does this work? So today we're really excited to, to have this app and thanks for showing it off. One of the most important things we can do in Los Angeles is protect lives. And I've always said it's not if, it's when the next big one hits. So a year and a half ago, uh, we worked together with the United States Geological Survey to develop the first app in American okay. history with sensors that we've been putting all around the Southland to alert folks like they do in Japan, like they do in Mexico, but with precious seconds to be able to know when an earthquake is coming. And now it is available for download. It's on Android, it's on Apple, the, the iOS uh, in the Apple Store, and it's also something that is in English and in Spanish. And it can let you know not only when an earthquake's coming, but how to prepare for earthquakes, how to recover from earthquakes, and we think it'll be a great way to help to protect lives uh, when the next big one hits. Can this sort of technology be incorporated into, say, uh, trains or elevators or other systems to, to potentially save lives? That's exactly right, Alex. We're going to then use this app to be able to alert uh, smart elevator systems that can drop people off at the next safe uh, st uh, floor to be able to get out of that elevator instead of being stuck there, to take metro trains and be able to stop them um, at a station or to make sure that people can get out and be safe. So there's almost an endless amount of applications that can be attached to this. Um, when we see it in other countries, it helps save lives because so often people are stuck in dangerous places. Um, we knew seconds ahead with the technology that exists, but we didn't tie anything in. When I became mayor, I said, we've got to change that. L.A. should be at the cutting edge. And thanks to a bipartisan support from our congressional delegation, we were able to save that in the budget, develop a historic partnership with federal government and local government, and now it is available for the people of L.A. Yeah, we encourage everybody to download it right now. Uh, meanwhile, the other big story here locally is this teacher strike, which we just talked about. Uh, it seems like we're really at a standstill, but who's left in the crosshair are the kids and also the parents. What's your message to the parents out there that are wondering, what do I do with my kids? Do I cross the picket lines and bring my kids to school? What do I do about daycare? What are your message to all the parents out there? Well, I'm very concerned for, about the parents and those children. So we've been preparing uh, in the city of Los Angeles, which has no authority over the school district formally, but I've been very involved in talking to both sides, trying to encourage them to get to the table, get an agreement. But in the meantime, our libraries, our park facilities, our rec centers, we're going to be staffing those with extra people, extra hours. If necessary and a strike ensues, I'll be out there myself to make sure that parents know there's a safe place for those children to be. They'll have to make those decisions about schools and I'll let LAUSD talk about whether those schools will be open. Uh, but you know, parents have to work, parents have to earn their income and we're gonna do everything we can at City Hall to make sure that they have really good and safe options for their children. In the meantime, I've been talking to folks on both sides, meeting with folks even today, and really saying, look, there isn't a lot that separates us. We do, and I agree with the teachers, need smaller classes, we need support staff, uh, a decent raise. I think that there's pretty much agreement on that, that last piece, but we can't afford something that drags on for days and weeks. The real victims then will be everybody, especially our children. I know you've offered to sort of mediate between the two sides. Uh, years ago, uh, L.A. Mayor Villaraigosa tried to have a bigger role for the L.A. Mayor when it comes to schools and wasn't able to win that fight. What can you do, though? What can you do to fix this? Well, I, I think I can use my bully pulpit and off, often uh, offer this space as well as I have for other things. Remember when the port uh, was threatened with a strike of our port workers, which would not not have just been bad for Los Angeles, but shut down the American economy. I was able to help mediate that together at the time with the Obama administration, the Secretary of Labor. We were able to hammer out a deal. I've done that with our electric, uh, electri electric workers union and the folks that were um, uh, manufacturing some of the rail cars at Metro. So this is something that I am passionate about, something I care deeply about. And I will say to both sides, come here. This is a neutral space. Let's talk about what those issues are, but let's get a deal done. Teachers deserve that. 
The administration deserves that, but most of all, our families here in Los Angeles need great schools. That should be our focus together, and I think that I can play a big role in that. Yeah, and the kids uh, deserve this. Um, uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, in uh, the last uh, week or so, Elizabeth Warren has announced that she's running for president in 2020, made a big yes. announcement. Uh, you were just here a couple weeks ago. You were sitting right here, and this is what you said when I asked you if you were running. It's a great win-win uh, either way. I'll be here. I'll be working for L.A. one way or another, um, but I'll make a decision by the end of the year. So you said you'd make a decision by the end of the year. It's been the end of the year. So are you running for president? Well, I'm at City Hall, and uh, it's best not to do anything political here, but stay tuned. And I have a ton of respect for Elizabeth Warren. I think she's a, a great person, a, a dear friend. And I'm glad to see people stepping up. I think this is a moment, whether folks run or don't run, we all need to step up to take this country back. But since I'm at City Hall, I'll respect our campaign laws right here. <laughs> Might be tough on a debate stage. Who knows? All right. Well, uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti, uh, we appreciate the continued conversation with you. Um, uh, best of luck Absolutely. with all this. And congratulations on this app. It really is a big deal. Thank um, you. And it can really help uh, save a lot of lives because it is the most important issue in L.A. Um, is, of course, earthquakes could be the most catastrophic thing that we face. So we appreciate um, your help Thank on you. that. Thank you. And have a great Happy New Year to you and all your viewers.